So this first tank setup comes from my friend Kristen from Kristen's Critters, and this is for her Crested Gecko named Beans. Beans is around 32 grams and two years old. So the things that I really like about this tank setup is that you have the food ledge higher up because he is an adult. I also really like the beautiful um, hanging vines that he has on the different sides of his tank, as well as the, as well as the bamboo that goes horizontally across the tank. I'm sure he has lots of fun climbing on those bamboo branches. And what I think that's really pretty are some of the live plants that you have at the very bottom of your tank. I love live plants. I think that they're really beautiful. Um, I'm sure he enjoys his tank setup very much. So this setup is also from Kristen's Critters, and this is her tank setup for her crusty gecko named Ed. He is 33 grams and around 2 years old. So the things that I really like about her setups are the fact that she mixes artificial plants with live plants. I think that's a really nice balance if you're um, kind of starting off with live plants. I wish I could have live plants. I just don't have much of a green thumb, but I like how she's mixed the two together. And it's really nice that she's added the bamboo to stretch across one end of her tank to the other end. I'm sure Ed's loving his home. So here we have Felicia's tank from Franklin and Felicia living in an 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra. And some things I really like about the tank are, um, I like the purple hide at the top left hand corner. I think that's really fun and unique. I also like the fact that you guys have a hammock in, her, in there for her. It looks really comfy. And I really like the different plants that you have in the tank. I'm sure that gives her a lot of coverage, makes her feel very secure. And it's probably a really fun way for her to kind of explore her tank as well. Um, it was mentioned to me that Felicia does have a dig box at the bottom of her tank full of eco-earth. That way she can lay her deaded eggs in there. And they use paper towel for the substrate to keep the humidity in. And I think this tank setup is really great. And I also like the giant piece of wood in the middle for climbing. So this next picture is from my friend Mary from Mary and Crew. And this is her crusty gecko, Lola. And Lola is living in an 18 by 18 by 18 Exoterra. And something I really love about the tank is the cork background. I think it looks really great. And one of my favorite items in this tank is that really nice tree that Lola is on. It looks nice and tall and spacious. And I like the fact that it has lots of textures. I also really like the pop of color of the flowers at the bottom of her tank. So this tank setup is also from Mary. It is a 10 gallon tank sitting vertically. And something I really like that she's done is hanging up this little like glass sphere um, decoration. It's really cool that she put some paper towel in it to keep it nice and humid. I also really like the fact that she's used different um, decoration, like plant decorations, how they have different textures. I think I see a vine um, kind of like twirled at the back, so that's really fun for climbing in. And I see that she's also used paper towel to keep the enclosure nice and humid as she has a screen door. So this next setup comes from her pathology Molly and this setup is for her crusty gecko named Rocket and Rocket is living in a 30 by 30 by 45 centimeter exoterra and this whole setup is bioactive which is really nice. I love the plants, they're very lush and um, I like a little coconut um, hide at the very bottom. It's really cute and I'm sure Rocket really enjoys spending his time there. I also really like the vines that she has throughout the tank. It makes a really fun place to hang out. So this tank comes from Zuri and Friends and it's a 40 gallon tank. Something I really like about this tank besides it being bioactive is the fact that it's so customized. So there's lots of ledges, there's some cork around at the very top left. I see the vines that are kind of going across the top that looks like lots of fun. And I really like the giant piece of wood in the middle. I'm sure your gecko has lots of fun climbing and exploring that. But not only that, but there's lots of live plants in here. Um, I love the plants at the very bottom as well because they're very tall. They look very sturdy for your gecko to climb on. And I love the height at the very bottom. Next tank setup comes from the Furry Friends. And this is... A 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra that houses a crusty gecko named Tilly. So some things I really love about this tank are the bamboo branches. I love those branches. I can never find them. I need to get my hands on them because I love how easily they look like they are to adjust to your tank. Um, the other thing I love is this very lush fern you have in the left hand corner as well as the different textures of plants. Um, it looks like you have some sort of hammock. I think that's really interesting. I'm sure your crusty gecko loves climbing on the hammock and exploring. Oh, it actually looks like some kind of ladder. Sorry, my bad. Um, also, 
I really, really like the plants at the very bottom. I think it's important to make sure your gecko feels secure. So not only having plants at the top and on the sides, but also having some plants at the very bottom of your tank um, is great. So this is another really great tank setup. this next setup comes from Shannon's Exotics and a couple things caught my eye in this tank. Um, I really like the big large plants that I see in this um, setup. I think it's really amazing to have some plants that have thrived as well. I also really enjoy the big piece of wood that I see going across the tank as well. It looks like it's also going into the far back um, area of the tank. I think it's really nice to give your crusty gecko um, different types of items to climb. It gives it lots of enrichment. I also like the plant that's hanging from the top left. I'm not only sure what kind of plant that is, but I think it's really interesting having some plants hang from the ceiling or from the mesh screen. Um, I also like the cork. I think the cork's really nice, especially if your crusty gecko hangs out at the bottom for a bit. It's nice um, to have some extra shelter, but as you guys can tell as this picture kind of goes down to the near bottom of the tank, the plant is fairly big. So I think that's awesome that you're able to keep this plant alive and well and just have it thriving in your tank. Also, um, her Crusty Gecko Charlie super cute. So the next setup comes from my friend Jessica from Jessica's Animal Friend and she has sent me a picture with four different enclosures all bioactive and each tank is 20 gallons long standing upright and these house her different Crusty Geckos. I just really love bioactive enclosures. I think this is a great idea of how you can make something really beautiful and very natural. So um, it looks like she has some really great plants hanging around from top to bottom of the tank as well as some really nice pieces of wood for her crested geckos to climb. And not only that, but she's kind of made some like little crevices in the front and the sides of her tank. And I just think these tanks look really, really great. And each of these tanks has a different crested gecko roo. Re, Rayla, and of course, Roshi. So I had a lot of fun making this video. It was really nice to reach out to some friends um, and people that I follow on Instagram to look out to look for different um, enclosure ideas. I love changing my enclosures. I think that it's really fun seeing what other people do with their um, gecko setups and seeing how I can enrich my gecko or just get different ideas from other friends and followers. So that was really fun as well as seeing everyone's really cute crusty gecko. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I really appreciate your support. I hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye.